Hello everyone! Thank you again for coming back with Addicted to Life on GTA 5 Casino DLC Car Releases Showcases. I'm back with you. Uh, that's new. This this keeps coming up. Something new. This hardcore comic store thing. But anyways, uh, the new Hellfire Gauntlet has come out. The brand new Gauntlet or Challenger, uh, 745000 Cheaper than the... Uh, last sports car that came out. Something new I want to point out were these tires. See these stock tires that come out with a red rim on them? Kind of like the NASCAR car we got. Um, so Hellfire's out, the Hellcat. And uh, I've already been playing around with the colors, which is right here. So um, I was actually going to go yellow, but I seen the rims and I was like, gotta go red. So I changed my crew color to a bright red. I think it looks really nice to start off with. And I parked her next to the challenges we already had in the game. So this is the first gauntlet we already had. Basically, a really basic customization. There's nothing to do with it. Bright neon yellow going on here. And then uh, we got this one. We just got this challenger in this DLC. So let's get it started. And we will get it going. Now what do you mean? All right, right off the bat, armor 50,000. Brakes, 35. Bumpers, front bumpers. I wonder if it's going to be kind of like the Hellcat. We'll see. The primary, so you know, primary. That splitter is just huge, I think, in my mind. I don't know why it's there, but hey, we want to, you know, primary, secondary, carbon. Your secondary, by the way, is your roof. Uh, I didn't want to have two different colors on the car going off, so I didn't leave a different secondary on. You have the carbon splitter, or the secondary front splitter, secondary bumper splitter. What's the difference in splitters? Nothing. I don't see anything different, and I oof, it already sticks out a bit, so I guess we'll just go carbon. Your cosmetics are on point. Rear bumpers. We have the wheelie bar and shoot. So apparently they're gonna make this into a drag car. Uh, I'm good on that. Keep going. We got the engine, 33.5 exhaust. We got the two in the back already. Then we got the big bore. Which stick out past the bumper with the tuner exhaust, the garage? race exhaust, side exhaust, nice, or the titanium side exhaust. I'm not really sure if a Hellcat has side exhaust on it. I'm gonna take a look. All right, well I was looking for the exhaust. I didn't see anything side exhaust wise, but something I forgot to point out, like I always do, and I'll post it down in the comments below if you want to check it out on GTA 5 Wiki. This gauntlet, the Hellfire, is basically primary design from the 2018 Dodge Charge or Challenger Demon. It also has some design influence from the 5th gen Chevrolet Camaro, the 6th gen Ford Mustang, Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat, the RT, and the Spectre. Really? Use, the car's interior is almost completely reused from the Spectre. Interesting. But yeah, pretty much the, the demon, and that's kind of what I thought when I was going through the liveries earlier before I got on here. So, that being said, uh, I'm going to just leave the um, those exhaust on there. Then we got the grill, so let's check that out. We got the grill delete. Um, what? No. We got the secondary, the black, I'm probably going to go with the black, the primary, the Life secondary, and the black. This would be more like the Hellcat now, so I'm going to go with don't this one. Look pretty. See, they don't have two lights in the middle, or on the front there, they only got one, but we'll go with the front one there. I wish I could go with carbon or something, but that's alright. Uh, headlight cover. Alright. Chrome cover. A dual headlight intakes. So you won't have any headlights. Okay. Uh, single headlight. You can think it. Light cover intake. I dual headlight. It. Mesh. Br what the heck are we doing with this? The plated front. This looks awful. And the bull bars. Okay. Um. Nope. I'm not gonna do any of that either. That's a first. Normally you do some high customization, but nope. Uh, we're gonna go smooth. So we got hoods now. We got the smooth hood. Do you need a drink? The stock hood right off the bat something? has its own kind of hood there. Then we got the smooth hood. We have the secondary car hood, color hood, the carbon hood, primary vented, secondary vented, carbon vented. 
dual filtered. Jesus. The large. If that wasn't large, this is large filtered blower. The oval intake Whatever bug catcher. Jesus. And budget or the triple intake bug catcher. Of course, they don't have any hoods I really wanted to put on. Cool. I guess we'll go with that for now. I might come back to it because there's a few liveries in here that are pretty cool. Uh, horn. Let's go cop horn, I guess. Uh, lights. Keep them white for now. Delivery, I'll come back to. Play it, gotta go America. Is looking good. We'll keep it white for now. Rear panel. Alright, so there's the front. Which are the, sorry, the back. Black already, which kinda needs to be. You wanna match it up, I guess. You got the primary, the secondary, the carbon, which is probably what we go with to try to match the rest of the car. The black surrounding plating guy looks horrible. What do you do? I can't have any lights. Okay. Uh, unless that's a light bar in the back. Kind of like the Dodge Charger. I, I'm not sure about that. I, I, I don't like those bolts on there either. Um, we'll stick with the car we Rear panel. Yeah, I already did the respray. We'll come back to the trim. Hopefully I remember that. We got the roll cage in this in the middle there. I don't think there's a real cage in the real car. Is there a real cage? I don't know. I doubt it. You know, drive it down the street in the real cage. <laughs> you got the cage roll cage. Alright. Cage and sports seats. So it looks like the only way to get the sports seats is to have the cage. I don't really want that in there. You got the cage and race seats. And the cage and drag seats. Now, um, fortunately I'm good on all that, so take a look at the interior anyways. Ooh, I like the red lining. So whatever your primary is, I'm guessing that's the red lining inside. You have the roof, the carbon roof. Mm, I wasn't going to do this. Like I said, based off my livery choice, I'm probably not going to change the roof color, even though I wish it was as white as that hood is, like all the way back, but it's not. So we'll leave the stock hood there. Skirts, we have the primary and the secondary. I kind of like to leave them black, so we're going to leave those black as well. We got the spoiler option. Of course, it's probably going to give us some kind of traction, right? Yep. So, the cool thing is you do secondary lip spoiler without actually having to change the spoiler. That's pretty cool. I like that Life indeed. Is hard when you can have anything. All right. So, we got the plastic lip spoiler, the carbon lip spoiler, the stock car or stock car spoiler, the drag spoiler. There's that drag car if you want one. The mid-level spoiler, the high-level spoiler, the drift wing, and the toner wing. Okay, there's another one, and the race wing. I'm gonna... Mm, I kinda like this carbon, but I'm gonna keep it secondary for now, just to... Okay, so yeah, the secondary gives us that traction we need, I guess, that extra traction. Uh, suspension, let's lower her all the way down. That looks pretty good. Transmission 40. Turbo 50 okay. as always. Wheels, That's um, something story. like I said I wanted to point out was those are stock wheels with that red rim. You cannot get that on any other wheel. And windows. We want to black them out. Sure, You're why not? Okay, and livery. It, oh, wait. The other thing I want to check out before we do that respray trim color. Oh, you can change that. Very interesting. Of course, there's not going to be a red to match our red. Nope, it's going to look hella gross. Might well, just have to keep it black, I guess, for now. Oh, it's actually graphite. Yeah, it's just all, all the way black. The and if you had a crew emblem, it'd go right there. Alright, let's get to the good stuff, the livery. So we have the dual white stripe. It does say 426, five? There's 426 there on the hood there. You got the red stripes. Really matches the car, actually it does not because I have it from red on there, but that's all right. Making decisions is stressful. You got the dual blue stripes, the bravado, which is as close as you're gonna get to the Hellcat symbol. Uh, we have the black racer, which in my opinion, this kind of looks like a demon here. 
Um, but this this one even more so. And then, like I said, on the back there is the bravado symbol. Uh, it's the closest thing you're going to get to the Hellcat. I kind of like this one. If I went with this one, I might go with the black roof instead. So that would be my different choice there. We have the Weekend Warrior, basically camouflage. You have the Red Wood, Red Wood Stock Car, kind of like the it. Red Wood Bravado where you're having the game. Too much free time. And this is kind of like the Enos. Can't remember which car that is, but it's an Enos we got in this DLC. This has that livery on it. We have the Racing Hero, so kind of like a cross between a Demon uh, livery and the uh, Race livery. That looks pretty nice. We have the Bravado Racing. Again, this looks really good. I like this race. If you're going racing, this would be the one I'd choose. And then we have the Royal Tribute. Royal. Limited gasoline. Looks pretty nice. But if you didn't hear it in my tone, I really like this one. Um, but if I had to choose, I'm going to go with this one. But with that being said, let's change the roof. Oh, damn it. Actually... Life we can, we can get that color by doing simply that. I think that'll look pretty good. Go black. Mm. Alright, so the stock hood is you uh, your it, secondary, looks I like. So we'll keep it. So there she is, and look at that. It's still daylight outside, so let's take her out for a test drive. Hopefully it's not rain. And I'll meet you out there. Alright guys, we are back outside, not too far from my CEO building, and obviously you're going to notice right away, I changed the livery. I took it out, I didn't really like the two-tone that was on it, so we put the black stripes. This kind of reminds me of the demon here. Um, on the crew too, I have a livery just like this, and it says demon there instead of gauntlet. Obviously, for obvious reasons, I can say that. Um, I changed the tires, I tried to get a five-spoke muscle tire to um, kind of replicate the Hellcat. There she is. Um, I'm losing the sunlight as I kept redoing the car, but uh, let's see what doors open up here. Nice, they all open up. Let's check out that engine. All right, so obviously, if you change the engine, you wouldn't have the, uh, that right there, but that's all right. So that looks pretty nice inside the interior there. If you change the color, obviously you'd have more interior color, but I kept it black, so we have just the trim on there. Still never figure out if that's the primary or the secondary. That's right. Trunk obviously opens up. So it looks pretty good. It doesn't look like there's anything special on the running boards there, but that's all right. Let's take her for a test drive and see how she really goes. I hope she's a fast car. Obviously, I'm not going to know if um, I'm not racing with her at the moment, but let's take her out anyway. So the highway's right here. Let's find an on-ramp and take her out. All right. Let's go. She doesn't sound as beefy as the original Gauntlet. I wonder if it's the same, um... Oh, she kind of has that girth, I guess, every time she revs up. I wonder if she has the same specs as the original Gauntlet. I hope she's fast, seeing it is a Hellcat. But, I don't know. I don't know how to really handle her or tell you what she feels like or not. Um, if you're a big Hellcat fan, get it. You know, it's definitely going to stay in my garage. I'm not going to get rid of it. Um, if you notice, I didn't have it in my muscle car garage because my muscle car garage is all old school stuff, all old school muscle. So I'll probably end up changing that, or not changing that, but having like a new muscle car area to put stuff like that in. So, but she is pretty nice. I like her a lot, and um, if you like her, you should get her. Uh, I mean, that's it. That's pretty much all I'm going to tell you about that. But. I, I mean, she gets up and goes, she doesn't feel very fast. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to leave you with that, and I will see you guys later in the next one. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up, and if not, no big deal. And I will see you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.